the Vice Chancellor of Ambrose Ali University Ekboma in Edo State, in Edo State, Professor Ignatius Onimawo, is calling for the adoption of information communications technology and computer based testing as strategy to end the scourge of sex for grades in tertiary institutions. Professor Onimawo says computer based testing has successfully worked in the Ambrose Ali University and curbed the menace of sex for grades within the Edo, Edo State based institution. He says once adopted by other tertiary institutions, it will also help address other challenges like non-payment of school fees and give students more confidence because they know their grades cannot be influenced. When we came here on board, we saw there were some ills. Missing result was one of them. <clears throat> then this sex for grades, what I just call sexually transmitted marks. And we said the most vulnerable group are Hundred level and two hundred level. These are people, very young people. They just come into the campus. They know they don't know their left from their right, and they can even be cajoled to do many things. They can even threaten them, and all that. So we said we are going to do computer-based exams. So we started CBE as computer-based exams, and after the first trial, there was a tremendous improvement. Because the students decide to grow in confidence that they can actually write an exam and they can, solve, they, can, they can see their scripts, I mean their scores, on the screen. At the point you are, you are clicking to submit, your score will pop up. So if, you, if your score is 70, for instance, nobody can go and tell you that if you bring money to give you an A or to give you B, when you have already seen it, missing results is no, no longer an issue. You can't hear of missing results again in Ambrose It does not exist. The, our collection of school fees, it becomes seamless. Because if you don't pay school fees, you can't have access to the questions. So you are on your own. You, if you like, you can shout from it to the next day. Because once you pay your school fees, it gives you access. So it has helped us. See, ICT can be used positively in so many ways. Many times you are not in control. But with God, if you pray every morning, God lead me not into temptation. Deliver me from evil. And you know, there's a forum in which you constantly do that. Oh, it has worked wonders and miracles in this university. Then, of course, technology has been employed to ensure that the scope for trading of marks is reduced. Computer-based examinations, where the student seeks or marks right there on the spot, soon, you know, soon after completing an exam, makes it impossible for a lecturer to come and try to trade a mark with you. Makes it impossible for a woman to try now to entice a lecturer to change grades. So sexual harassment and a lot of all such social vices that, that, that are um, relevant to examination has been dealt with. Naturally, it's not a good thing for a student who knows she, he or she reads very well for an exam. And looking at it that you answered very well, and only to find out that your grade is not what you are expecting, actually you feel bad, number one. And number two, going to meet the lecturer, trying to express yourself that you know the course, you are very sure of what you read. And the lecturer now asking you for maybe he needs something else from you, not financial. It's just like sexual harassment from you. Ah, that thing can make someone pissed off because naturally it's not everybody that is into those kind of things. There are some people that can do it for free, but for me I can't do that. It's not a normal thing. It's abnormal in my side. It's called abomination naturally. So I won't take it lightly with the lecturer. If I have the chance to report to the VC, for sure I will do that.